Hey, Mike here from thesmartguitarist.com. In my first video on the Dunlop Volume X pedal, we went through five reasons why it's a great platform for modding. Now today I want to share with you my first project with that pedal. And here it is. This is a stereo volume pedal that's buffered and has a few other tricks up its sleeve. Now, in a normal stereo volume pedal, there's going to be a dual pot and both sides of the pot will have identical pot values so that the volume rises and falls exactly the same on both the inputs and the outputs of the stereo pedal. This is not really possible with this pedal because as we discussed in my first video, the dual pot in here has a 250k audio pot and a 10k linear pot. These are very different pot values. So this custom pedal here, even though I, I'm saying that I've converted it to a stereo volume pedal, I would not use it with a true stereo sound source like a keyboard or like a stereo guitar pedal or something like that. Okay, so why did I build it then? Well, I wanted a pedal that would work with the affectionately named Uber guitar here, so-called because it has magnetic electric guitar pickups, like any electric guitar, but it also has a Graftech Ghost piezo bridge. So, it sends out a separate electric guitar sound and acoustic guitar sound from the piezo bridge. And I wanted a volume pedal that could control both discrete signal paths at the same time. And so because that's not really a true stereo image, it's two pretty different sounds, I figured that the two different pot values in the pedal wouldn't be a problem, and that's how it worked out. In fact, I was a little bit leery of using the 10K linear pot for any kind of volume control because that's really not a common pot value for volume controls at all. But as it turns out, I think it actually worked a little bit better with the acoustic sound than the normal 250K audio pot did. So go figure. Um, the only thing I did was I added a 2K resistor across the 10K pot, which is pretty technical. If you want to learn more about that, you can read the blog post. Okay, I needed a few other features as well. I knew I would need a buffer on the electric guitar sound because I used a volume pedal in the effects loop of my Dr. Z amp, and I had already discovered that a buffer in front of the volume pedal in the loop makes a big difference. So I wanted that, but I also wanted to be able to switch out the buffer just in case. For the acoustic guitar sound, I knew I did not want a buffer, However, I did want a switch that would turn off the volume pedal function for only the acoustic side, so that the acoustic volume would remain at 100% all the time, and only the electric guitar sound would vary as I work the pedal. I'll play for you how this sounds a little bit later. So, let's take a look inside. Keep in mind, this was my first attempt at modifying one of these Dunlop Volume X pedals, so I made a few mistakes. You can see here that I desoldered the jacks from the stock circuit board, and then I tried to attach them to a piece of strip board, and it's a huge mess. I do not recommend doing this. On my second build, the wet blender pedal, I used the stock circuit board, and it's much neater. You can check out that video too. There's also this errant hole here, and I also tried drilling a hole here to mount a foot switch, which I decided not to use, so I just plugged it with a hole plug. Overall, aside from the buffer, which I think came out pretty nice, it looks messy, but it works. Big thanks to Jack Orman at AMZFX for all of his resources on buffers and guitar electronics generally. Okay, and here's a basic signal flow schematic. For more info on this, you can check out the blog post. Okay, so let's hear how it sounds. I've got it mounted here to my Uber pedal board, made for use with, of course, the Uber guitar. And you can check out yet another video on the build of this board. First, here's the electric sound. Now, here's the acoustic sound. Okay, now I'll turn on a little crunch on the electric sound and play both. The electric sound is going to be in your right channel and the acoustic sound will be in your left channel.
Okay, and as promised, I'll show you why I have this little switch to turn the volume control for the acoustic side off. The acoustic volume will stay at 100% while only the electric volume varies. This is cool for parts like this. But this is really cool when I use a long, wet delay sound on the electric guitar sound. I can create pad type sounds behind the acoustic guitar. All right, there it is. That's my custom stereo volume pedal built inside of a Dunlop Volume X housing. Hopefully that gives you some food for thought, maybe some inspiration, and um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment on YouTube video or on the blog post, and um, while you're at it, uh, please consider subscribing on YouTube and also signing up for the email list at thesmartguitarist.com. All right, see you next time.